Today we're going to be getting started with how to organize some of your files and going through and creating one file where you're going to find all of your website information. To begin with, what you're going to need to do is to go create a new folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my new folder. Notice it's titled new folder and we definitely don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and say website materials. So you'll see that I have my website information here. Next what you're going to do is you need to go and you need to find where your first thing that you're going to be needing which is your avatar. So this is my avatar and it's currently untitled so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up real quick. So I'm going to rename this and this is going to be Mrs. Rao. To be honest I did take this from a student. So I'm going to go ahead and title it Mrs. Rao. It looked sort of like me. So I went ahead with this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my avatar and I'm going to be putting it into my website folder. Now you might be asking can't I just drag it over to the folder and what, what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of it here where you originally placed it and I don't really want to do that. So we're going to copy things and put them in your website folder. So there's my avatar. My next one that we're going to be doing is going to the photo alterations. This is my folder for the computer photo alterations. So in this one, first of all, you, I can see that they're all JPEGs, which is good. That's going to be good for our website. However, I can't see them, so I'm going to go ahead and I just uh, clicked, right clicked, and I'm going to view. I'm going to see what these look like. So these are the pictures. These are not mine. You'll recognize some of these students in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to be once again copying this so I can copy individual ones but what would be even better is if I were to select several of the files all at once and all you need to do to do that is you're going to hit the control key and select the ones that you want to be on your picture. So I'm going to go ahead and select these three. I do want to remind you that we're not posting anyone's faces on your picture so this is supposed to be your photography that was not your faces. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these and now that I'm back in my website folder, I'm going to go ahead and paste these in here. So you can copy and paste the photos. And here I have, if I view these, I can see my different pictures. Next, what you're going to also need are some other um, items out of here. And one of them is going to be your SketchUp project. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go find my SketchUp project for the adaptive tools. This is an adaptive tool from class. And what I'm going to do, be doing on this one is I need a picture of this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, like we did our avatars a little while ago, I'm going to go ahead and say print screen on this one. So I just press the print screen button. Then what I can do is if I go over to my paint program, MS Paint is not up on my computer right now, but it should be easy to find if I start typing paint. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up my paint project or my paint and very simply anything that I had on my screen out here if I hit the print screen I can just paste that all completely in here now whenever you go to um, this is in paint whenever I have this what you'll see is that it's got a lot of information on here obviously what we have here and this is the view that I selected we also have all of the information and on the website I think that's going to look kind of cool if I have all of this information of like what the project actually or what the program actually looks like because it's somewhat about the program too however what I don't want is I don't need this screen stuff down here so I'm going to go to my crop and I'm going to cut some of this off down here so I don't want any of this information. So there it looks much much cleaner. Now whenever I go to save this I'm going to file save as and when I save this it's going to need to be in a JPEG format so um, as you'll see it does a few things here. It starts out with it's untitled so we need to make sure and um, print this and just to make sure that you know, you can use the adaptive tool that you and your partner both made, or you can use the individual one. It's, com it's up to you. The other thing is, is save as type, and we have the PNG here. Instead of the PNG, you're going to need to select a type that it's going to save as as a JPEG. 
and we're going to save. Now before you save that, do make sure that you're in the correct place. Right now I am not in the correct place. I'm in a sixth grade folder. Not quite sure how I got there, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to go back to my H drive and I should have a website right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in here. Now notice on that one I did not need my SketchUp project in there. Instead I needed just a picture of my SketchUp project. Um, you can go ahead and change your point of view. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of my and get out of my paint project. I actually tried to click that one. Um, so I can go ahead and get out of paint and if I wanted to change my point of view that's completely possible. Also on the H drive I'm going to be putting some more pictures, some general pictures that you can add to our project if you'd like to do some description about Jeremiah and um, the information about some of our 3D printed tools. Alright, next up you've got some other things that you also need to organize and get into your folder. So another one that is required to be in your project folder if you are looking for some more things that go along with your adaptive tools, your 3D printed adaptive tools, I am placing quite a few things. You can see it's going to take about 10 minutes. I've got some videos and some other things in here. But it's going to be from the Computer Data G our 8th grade adaptive tools file. And this is going to be I'm just putting all of them in here. This is some of um, the general information. I've got lots of pictures that I collected from you all. This is also whenever we went over to um, give the items to Jeremiah. We have um, the finished ones, what they looked like, and another one is going to be some like general pictures. We also have the article. This is the article that made it into the paper. So if you're looking to put any of those on your website, which I am expecting something from your Google SketchUp and a bit more about your project also. So make sure you get something in there from these file folders. Or if you have some of your own, you can also um, remember where these are and put something in here um, also. Okay, something else that you're going to need is your animation project files. And for your animation project files, you'll find a couple of things. This is still in the Computer Data G, our 8th grade animation, and this one happens to be in 2nd hour. There's also the 8th hour. You'll notice that I'm still copying things. Um, so my 2nd hour and my 8th hour here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And in here, you have a couple expectations. You need to get a copy of your finished movie from your hour. So if I go in here, I will be able to copy a movie from here and after I've copied a movie or your movie and you're going to be able to put it over on your project whenever you go in here do make sure that you'll see a couple of things you'll see that some of them are movie maker projects and some of them are mp4s you are going to want one of the mp4s that happens to be your movie so please make sure that you are um, correctly taking the correct file folder. And we did have quite a bit of problems with getting the Movie Maker to work this year, so I would make sure and play your video to make sure it is working. It looks like this fo file folder, new and working, is the one that's actually uh, working today. So please make sure that you can play it, and it's an MP4, and that's the one that you're using. Also in your project, you're also going to be finding that back in the animations second hour that you have all of your old photos. I have not deleted these off of the Data G yet. So if I go in here, um, so you can copy and paste your movie, your MP4, you're going to be able to take that over to your website folder, you're also going to need a couple of other pictures in here. So if I have, this is um, one of the animation pictures and you can see that I am viewing my pictures at this point. So we have the video here. If I'm looking at these different ones, go ahead and you're going to be putting in um, a gallery into your project. So in the gallery on the website, that's where you can kind of scroll over a couple different pictures and you're going to be putting a gallery in so that you can scroll through and show progress of how an animation is made. Other things that are going to need to be on your in your website folder, some of, um, some of the other things we're not going to be able to put into your folder, such as your scratch game, that's directly on the internet, so that's not going to be able to be put into your folder. 
You should be aware of where you're going to find it though. Don't forget your Scratch user name and address at this point. So some other things that you're going to need in your website folder. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Um, you're also going to be needing your Scratch and something else you need in here is some of your things that you're going to be wanting for your um, personalized page. So for your personalized page, I do want to make sure that you are, you can copy things off the internet and put it into your website folder. Um, however, you also do need to make sure that you are citing where you are getting these th from. So on your planning page, on your last slide down there, on your last one, please make sure that you are writing down what URL your project and where your photos and your information or videos is coming from. If you are getting a video off of YouTube and you're going to embed it into the video, um, into your website, that video you cannot cite YouTube as where it came from. Um, you're going to need to have more information about who created it. Um, it was created by someone, so make sure that you are doing your citation accurately.